Hello everyone, your good buddy Amigo Aaron here. Today I want to discuss with you uh, something that's recently came into my life and it could be my favorite computer, in quotes, of all time. I want to discuss it today because I think it merits uh, having a look at and I want to give credit to certain uh, individuals whose genius, their mad genius, came through at least for me. And today we're going to be talking about this bad boy right here. Uh, what you're looking at, uh, for those that are the uninitiated, this is a, a uh, uh, FPGA machine known as the Mister. Now these, uh, these Misters are becoming more and more well adopted. I will say uh, this one was purchased for me by my good buddy and my partner in crime, uh, the boat, John Boat of Carshaw, a very nice gift boat. I appreciate it. And I went ahead and decked this thing fully out. And when it was time to uh, give this thing a proper home, I used a video on our own channel. Uh, Eric from Pixel Gaiden uh, had a friend of ours print him up a case for his mister. And he showed it. I really enjoyed it. At the time, I didn't even have the mister. And I, uh, our friend that printed that case is a fellow named David from Arizona, a good buddy of ours. And he also printed this one for me. And this thing is glorious, but it's also functional, multifunctional. Uh, they're all a little bit different. And this one's mine. And Dave actually printed this thing to my specifications. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of go over uh, what the case adds, why you would want a case, and some extra stuff that you could do with a case for your mister. Uh... We've seen a lot of guys put their misters in cases. Again, Eric. Uh, we've also seen uh, RMC uh, put his into a, uh, a big uh, checkmate case. So it's not uh, it's certainly not uh, new ground. But uh, I really, really enjoy this thing. And I think I want to go into why I enjoy it. Why this one's a little bit different. And how you might want to go about getting one yourself. Uh, for those that think, oh, what do I need a case for? The Mister's small. It fits in your hand. Uh, there's a lot of functionality you get with having your Mister in a case that you don't get with having it loose, uh, sitting on your desk or mounted in the back of your monitor. I'm going to go into a few uh, ideas I have and maybe some thoughts for the future. Let's get into it. So I thought we'd start off here with a uh, the case with no Mister installed. This is actually the second case that Dave uh, printed for me. Uh, you can see here's the... the uh, completely uninstalled top pull it off and this is just the basic grid work here that holds all of your mr cards your usb your vga card uh it's all 3d printed and the ports cut out it's very cleverly done you can see this middle section has uh slits in it that you can slip cables through very important you'll recall that this was originally two sections that were smashed together and screwed together so dave has turned it into one big print and you can see all the ports are here, plus some extra stuff. I'm, some of these ports, I'm not even sure what they do, to be completely honest with you. Now, this is a uh, this is exactly like what I've actually used, except this one's one that kind of got damaged in the print. You can see this one has a completely solid bottom. Now, I requested this from Dave, and you might ask why, and it's because I, I know me. And I knew if I had one of these that was open, I would spill something and destroy the mister. And so I had him print me one with a bottom on it. Uh, your mileage may vary on what you want. Uh, you'll see here that in both of these, you've got those in, in, inner slits in that in that the brace. And then this one also has the embedded uh, uh, screw barrel so you can fasten down all your components. I can tell you that they fastened down in here good and tight. I used the actual screws that came out of the original mister that I had. I just and it worked perfectly. Screwed them right in with no problems. It's a nice solid fit. And for comparison, I've just stuck them both together. The exact same thing, just one solid, one's not. Here's the actual completed item uh, with the uh, AJS keyboard. Now, this particular 3D print uh, requires this keyboard. Now they've got different models of this. I went with the cool rainbow style colors because I like the I like the LED backgrounds on those. Uh, it's a great mechanical keyboard. It's pretty inexpensive too. I believe I paid under uh, fifty dollars US for this brand new US key USB keyboard. It's a real decent keyboard. I enjoy it. It works perfectly for this project. 
and fits snugly in the case, and we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, you can see here, looking forward, it's got a low profile. Uh, that print right there on those uh, vents, no easy task. Uh, I can tell you that right now. Dave did an amazing job, and he told me that's a real difficult part to print out. You'll see that the keyboard fits in there. It looks like it was made to fit in there, and it was, in a manner of speaking. Uh, as we turn this thing around here, you'll see the USB, HDMI, power, uh, cablings on the side here, and then we'll spin it around the other way. There's a external USB port, which I'll get to that in a moment. I'm not sure what that side port's for. That's one of the ports in this that I, I can't identify. Uh, then you've got your USBs on the back. There's some breakout USBs on top in case you break out of the USB board. There's a couple you can break out a couple extras. You've also got your uh, port here for your display a switch. You've also got your um, the ability to have the uh, access to the SD card. Uh, back here, and you've also got a, a couple, you've got at least one port I don't use. You've got that uh, USB style uh, port that I don't have hooked up, but you can hook that up, and you've got an Ethernet port, uh, which is a, a separate uh, item that you can buy and stick in there. So, you've got all your ports set up. Let's pop the top on this thing and look at what's under the hood uh, of this bad boy. Uh, it's nothing special. It's exactly what you thought it would be. It is your mister mounted in here. Now, I mounted the USB board backwards. It still fits perfectly. I did it for ease of use in terms of hooking up the uh, mister to the USB board. You'll lose one external USB port, but it's for me, that's not a huge deal. You know, And you can do it either way you want. Uh, and uh, you've got th I've got four internals and three externals. Plus, you could run those two off the breakout. The Mister, of course, sits here with the uh, video of the VGA board on top, the display board, uh, the uh, um, all snugly secure. I ran the power right off. Uh, I, I, you know, I jumpered it from the Mister to the USB board to provide power, no problem. You can see the slits here in the side of this case. The the keyboard literally scoots down into that into those slits and fits snug as a bug. I mean, it it won't move once you screw everything down. It works great. These, are, of course, are the buttons you would use. These are breakout uh, wirings for your buttons and your LEDs. And the uh, 3D case here, you can see that it has places for the buttons. Now, if you want to use those, it's also got a place to put the LEDs. Uh, so you're good to go there. You just wire those up. Here's my power cable. I've just got it ran. It's only one going into one port. I uh, can uh, flip this thing on and fire the mister right up. Uh, so I'm only using the one cable. Really, it's super simple to wire the two uh, power points together. Uh, you won't have any trouble. It literally is a two-wire job. And then, bam, keyboard comes up looking beautiful, and we've got Mr. Action on the HDMI. Uh, I just love it. Uh, and it's it's great to have that nice keyboard there available at all times. And Plus, it protects your Mr. quite nicely. Here's my wireless, cheapo, generic Super Nintendo controller I use, and it works great. The Mr. doesn't require any super snazzy controllers. Uh, you can see my Mr. has uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth dongles on it. Uh, I use the internet. It sets the time. It's quite nice, and having Wi-Fi on this, I, I suggest your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth. I, I would go ahead and say that's a must uh, for me. Uh, I, li I like having that. It's easy to transfer files as well when you've got the, U when you've got the uh, Wi-Fi. So, pardon my horrible came work here but this is tough to do so this is a little gimmick i put together what i'm doing here is i'm unplugging the usb uh, that was running from the mister uh, from the usb board to my keyboard and what i'm plugging in here is a wire to my keyboard that runs to a a multi hdmi computer component system that lets me switch between uh the the mister and a uh, separate pc so why would i do this you ask well space saving frankly uh, I can hit one button and use the keyboard and mouse for either the mister or a PC that I've got stashed behind my computer. Uh, it's quite nice, and uh, so I use it for that. Originally, I'd planned on actually putting that workability in the mister case, but I just didn't have the space. Uh, here's the little button. You can see I turned the mister on. I hit the button, and bam, it turns everything over to a PC, and I can use my mister controls on the PC, so it's quite nice. It's a handy space saver uh, that I enjoy. And you can see the profile of this thing's quite small. It fits just under that Coco 3. It's smaller than a than a, an Amiga 600. I love it. It's a perfect space saver. 
you go. A quick look at the 3D case printed for my mister by my good buddy David Z. I just think it's a beauty, and I really have enjoyed uh, using it, and the case really added to the fun. One thing that the RMC said in his video, uh, that uh, adding certain things to the case and adding this to a case, it sort of... Uh, actually adds the illusion that it's uh, that you're using an old PC and this certainly does the job for me uh, I want to thank a few people I want to thank uh, my good buddy Eric from Pixel Gaiden again for his video uh, it's entitled Pixel Gaiden Mr. Wedge Project it's on our channel if you care to look it up also Pixel Gaiden a great show great podcast and they have their own uh, video channel as well you should check out um, I also want to thank my good buddy my brother from another mother, John Bodovkar Schaller, who picked me up a mister and uh, introduced me to it. I want to thank all of our buddies in the Amigos uh, Discord, including Graham. Graham really jumped in head first on the mister a while back, and we a lot of us have gotten in on it. And these guys have really kept me up, helped me, educated me, and showed me the path to take. You know, something else I want to do is talk about the original designer of this. Now, if you look under in Eric's video on the on the uh, chat area, originally this was uh, it was mentioned that this was done by a fellow named Lee Smith, Lee Legion Smith on Twitter, uh, and apparently he had a variant of the original version of this, which was actually put up by a fellow named uh, Yuri Fossaroli, I believe it's an Italian gentleman. Uh, and it was on Thingverse. I've seen this before. And, of course, we went into the differences between the way this was done and the way those were done. But you got to give credit where credit's due. A brilliant project. Uh, thumbs up to these guys uh, for uh, going in there and getting it done. And then lastly, I want to talk about uh, the fellow that actually printed these bad boys, David Z, our friend in Arizona. Dave is a great guy, and he's a whiz uh, when it comes to this sort of thing. Uh, Dave mentioned to me when I told him I was going to make this video that he is willing to uh, print these and sell them. Uh, if you are interested in having Dave print you one of these up, you can reach him at his email address. The email address is djzomv at gmail.com. Once again, that's djzomv at gmail.com. I'll put a link uh, underneath in the show notes uh, if you're interested. He also mentions that if you were on the Amigos Discord, you could reach him uh, via Discord message, uh, and he would accept those as well. And just, uh, if you would, specify in the subject line that you're uh, um, emailing him about the case. And uh, he can, uh, he'll often be able to, like, sort of do what you want. You know, if you have some certain specifications, he could probably, if he can do it, he will. Uh, Dave is a real whiz. So big, big up to Dave for setting me up. I really appreciate it, Dave. Dave's printed a lot of stuff for us. He's also printed some stuff that's been featured on Ten Mark's channel. Uh, and Dave is just, like I said, he's got a rep in the community as, as King Dong of 3D printing. So well done, Dave. Uh, I think that's it, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And maybe this will give you a little incentive to uh, either pick one of these cases up from Dave or go ahead and try one, make it one yourself. Or even if you're interested in the original project, go into Yuri or anyone else. I think these cases uh, make the mystery even more fun, and I've enjoyed it immensely. Thanks again, everybody. Uh, this is your good pal, Amigo Aaron. We will see you next time. Adios.